Hey, everybody. Welcome to the January monthly technical community call for uh, Microsoft Business Applications. My name is Craig Kreskis, and I'm here to host you again for the second consecutive month. And, boy, I'm really excited about the uh, content and the speakers that we have. Um, I'll be your a guest speaker as well, and we have a guest from our worldwide team, to uh, Asaf, who will talk through uh, some of the great, exciting opportunities that we have in terms of structure and ideas on how to publish your IP, your consulting services, for the rest of the world to see. So to get started, what I'd like to do is I'll share with you kind of the visual roadmap for the next hour. What I'd like to do is I'll lead with updates, just as I did in the December call. Uh, I want to just do some updates and share with you some interesting information, insights uh, from last month's poll. And then I'll take over the first part of our presentation. I want to talk about accelerating sales cycles. It's a, a little bit of a, a teaser into some of the sales tools that your peers are using today and want to make sure you're familiar with it and, and aware. I'll uh, open up it for a poll. We have a couple of questions we wanted to ask you related to the content that we're going to present. And then Asif will come up and talk through the cloud marketplace. And then I'll come back out, do some closing remarks, talk about our next month's community call. So just to lead off and kind of share with you the December results. So I led with a, uh, a poll. And I'm curious, uh, as I'm just getting involved with the community, uh, as you know, in the past, Barb, Bernardo and, and Karen have done an amazing job building out our community. And so uh, we're adding some additional heads to our team to kind of brainstorm and provide more value and other topics. So I asked everybody on the call, what is it you'd like to see some more of? So we'll take that feedback and incorporate that into our editorial calendar for the remainder of the fiscal year. But that doesn't preclude you from giving additional insights. If you have topics that you want to see or that we can drive additional value to your business, please let us know. Uh, I think the best way to do that would be out on our Yammer site. And, and speaking of which, that's sort of one of the uh, topics I wanted to bring to you before we get into the presentation. That is our, our Yammer sites, uh, I want to make sure everybody's aware of it, they're We've invested a ton of time, labor, on improving the channels to our, our partners and aligning these assets, our assets, with all of the channels or segments. So I wanted to ask if you could just spread the word uh, about the channels. And when I say that, I want to make sure, again, from a dynamics point of view, we refer to ourselves now as business applications. And you can see that in the bottom left corner. Um, all of the assets are aligned uh, very similarly, and so the experience for you as a partner is you're going to find out additional information. You need to research areas outside of what your core business is. Um, it's very easy to find. So, for example, if you go to the yammer.com forward slash MSUS partner, right, and then you could join those organizations appropriately, and then our blogs as well. So I've kind of put here the, the blog. So let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about. And again, I don't mean to insult anybody. If you're already a member of these organizations, uh, these channels, that's great. But what's really simple and easy is you go into a quick search on business applications. You probably are already familiar with that. The structure and the layout of all of these assets, again, are, are the same. So if I'm interested in business applications, again, we have a very, very strong community. We have 1,294 members. Uh, the results, I think, on the active membership is a little bit about half. So I think we've got about 625, 650 active members. So this is a great place for you to maybe if you want to tag me, at Craig Kreskis, if there's a topic that you want to see on the call. But I also wanted to point out, and again, I know this alignment with this one commercial partner organization of Microsoft. Uh, we've seen some changes in the org and the structure, I think, for the better, and that is that our apps and infrastructure. So as we see you as a partner aligning to other business groups, right, it's a simple, easy way. Instead of always going to your PDM and the PTS, the self-service resources are phenomenal. So what I've done is I've just joined apps and infrastructure. There's data and AI. you got the modern workplace. 
and open source OSS. So these are all the, the channels or the, the partner and customer segments that we as employees are aligned to. And so whenever I get a question related to those topics, I go right to the search box here in the window and I start to do my self-service. So again, sometimes you want a quick answer, it's right there. And then the other thing that I just wanted to share in terms of assets is the, the community blog. And so just like our Yammer sites have been aligned based on segment, so are our technical blogs. So you've got the modern workplace, business applications, which again, we're all here to learn more about data and AI and et cetera. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody was familiar with those assets. Uh, it's very simple, just subscribe to them and you're off and running. Okay, let's get started. So the next topic is around the accelerating sales cycle. And I know this is somewhat of a, a teaser slide. Being in this business for 18 years at Microsoft, always aligned to dynamics, both ERP and CRM. I know every one of us is always trying just that opportunity to reduce our time to market, reduce our cost of sales. And the reality is, Right? Every one of these bullet points must resonate with somebody on the call today. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or new to your organization, preparing for a demo is still stressful. Right, 60% of our customers know us before we even get on the phone and talk to them in initial discovery. Right? We have pre-sales people who consider them consultants, um, or I should say vice versa. Right, We have consultants that are doing demos that we want uh, them to present our stuff because they're more technical, right? But at the end of the day, as a sales organization, we want to also control our destiny. And the reality is the Internet isn't the most reliable resource. It's great for our reach and our scope. And to be able to do a quick demonstration and just fire up the website or a, a Skype or a go to meeting, right? And then finding content on the web, though from a prospect point of view, isn't always the best experience. So with a, a virtual drum roll. Uh, for some of you, you may have already seen the partner sales playbook, the Dynamics 365 playbook. Uh, for many, this might be new, and I just wanted to introduce it to you so that uh, you kind of knew what's out there in terms of resources. And so for all of the challenges that I just shared with you, you know, in terms of uh, being able to provide a, a simple experience in terms of presenting my stuff, uh, here is the, the partner playbook. And so I'm going to kind of walk you through a little bit of a guided tour in terms of how to use it. And then at the end of the presentation, I'll give you links on where you can go and download this. But it is, if you look in the bottom left corner, 760 slides. Yes, it is a large uh, tool. Uh, but an effective tool, and I can talk about what some of the partners and how they're using them in terms of not just pre-sales, in terms of demos, uh, but also becoming a training tool for an onboarding for their new employees. So there are a few slides in the beginning of this tool that will kind of walk you through how to use it, some of the setup and scenario. Uh, it was, again, it is specific to Business Edition. It does have primarily ERP presentations, but I'll talk about the future roadmap for that at the end as well. Uh, again, how to use the guide in terms of navigation. There's a demo dashboard. Uh, there's shortcuts. How do you return back to your cockpit or the library? And then over on the right-hand side are all the, the demo scenes, etc. And again, I've got some kind of the messaging and, and again, slides that are, I'll call fluff, but just intro slides that are important for you to make this more than just a demo tool, but uh, everything you need to kind of run uh, an entry-level sales cycle. And I'm specifically not in slideshow mode. I wanted to show you some of the um, kind of nuances of, of the tool here. So actually, I'll go with slideshow. So imagine yourself, if you will, you're in the middle of preparing for a demo. You get a phone call from the customer says, you know what, Dynamics 365, I keep hearing about it. Uh, what is it? And, you know, tell me more about it. And can you just show me a demo? I don't, I've already been on the website. I've got the trial running, but I, I don't quite understand where to go next. The, the cockpit, if you will, the main dashboard that you're looking at here, it's on slide number five, excuse me, slide number eight. It is pre-built based on roles and based on business processes. Because I believe the way our customers resonate or connect with us, it's through one of those scenarios. 
If we show a customer, a prospect, a scenario based on their current role, they trust us more. And if we show it based on their current business process, they trust us more. Right? And so the purpose of this was to get out of the, um, the training demos, right, how to set up a customer, how to set up a vendor, et cetera, how to set up an opportunity, but actually show me the day in the live demos. And the way you would navigate is, is you, you can either click on the blue box or you can click on one of the icons. So I'm going to maybe take a look at a quote to invoice demo. So you can see here, if I click on the icons, it has a, a little bit of a more animated view. And that's uh, taking advantage of the Zoom functionality that came out maybe about a year ago in PowerPoint. So here I am, I'm in front of my customer, either in person or over on the web, and this is how I run all my demos. And it handles about 80% of the questions, 80% of my opportunities, and then I'll go live software towards the end of the demo. But essentially, I'm gonna tee it up with this scenario. It's this quote to invoice. Now, every one of the demo scenes has an opening tell. And if anyone has attended one of my workshops, the Demo to Win workshops, or if you've read Demonstrating to Win, the, the book, uh, everything that is in here is modeled after that. And I believe there's structure that we need to put in place to our demos. Uh, so I follow here and I tell the customer, here are the four steps of this demo. We're going to enter in the sales quote. We'll send it via email, quote, uh, convert to invoice, and then post it. And then here's the opening slide, and now I'm in the demo. And so what you'll see is I have provided two, uh, there's two versions of this. One includes the bubbles where it says select contact insights. Extremely helpful version when you're in front of large audiences at trade shows or even over the web so that you capture the, the eyeballs of your uh, prospects. So I go ahead and click on here. And then it tells me everything where I want to go. So here's that, that quote to invoice. All right, I get an email from the customer, Jim Glenn, and it says, hey, we'll go ahead and place an order. So I click on the new order, and I click select on sales quote. Enter in the line item, tab over, put in my quantity, hit enter. And I'm going really, really fast, but I just wanted to show more so the, the nuances of how uh, streamline this can be. Now again, I click on the quantity and now I'm done with that scene. Now the second scene was to send that via email. So I'll select on next and then you can go on. Now I don't need to finish up necessarily. I'll, I'll hit escape and let's go back to the uh, PowerPoint here. So I want to go back to the slides that you'll see in the structure of this so you understand it. Uh, and how it was designed. Every single slide has speaker notes to provide you what to say and where to click. So again, I have two versions for you to download. One has the bubbles on it, one has it without. So if you are of the ilk where you prefer to not have the clutter of the bubbles and you find it unprofessional, I provided you two versions of the playbook of, of that demo. And then you can go into here, you can what to say, where to click, um, and it is uh, bulletproof, right? It's error-free because all you have to do is click next. And if you're like me and you're using a second monitor, right, the slide notes are on that second monitor. So let me come back here to the end of the demo, and uh, you'll see here, so this is the, the wrap-up of that one of the demo scenes. And just as I started the demo with an opening tell in terms of the four bullets and the four steps, every closing slide for demo scene will provide you with the benefits of why you showed that demo, right? It reduces initial learning of a new system, we reduce the time and data entry, and I want presenters to talk through that and explain to the customer why you just showed them what you did. Now you can either click on the eight number, the number eight and hit enter, or you just simply click on the bar and that'll return you back to your cockpit. So again, the reason this was designed is customers and partners were asking for presentations and demos of all these areas in the application, and it's stressful, and it takes the stress out. And now you come back to the cockpit and you tell the customer, hey, where do you want to go next? Do you want to talk about marketing manager? You want to get into the, the owner? You want to get into Power BI? You want to get into 
customer bookings, and we could talk about the integration of customer bookings, which is part of the Office 365. Right, so I can come into here and say, hey, let's talk about the service that's available uh, as a web-facing front end for a customer and how that integrates back into the back office accounting system. And again, I can click on the eye for the information and, and select OK, scroll down, choose a staff, whatever it might be. And so again, you go through this mechanics and it's very simple and easy to follow. And then when you're done, you click on the eight and you come right back. So you may find yourself in the middle of a demo scene and say, you know what? I'm reading the audience and they're just, they're not following me. So you select on the eight number and then it pops you right back into, um, into the, the, the playbook. And so again, I've got eight roles, owner, accountant, external accountant, bookkeeper, sales manager, sales rep, marketing manager, and, and project manager. And then some of the key processes down below. You can navigate it from the, the blue box or the icon on the right and uh, in the top right corner. And, and when you click on that top right icon, when you get to the end of the demo scene, all you have to do is hit the next slide and it actually sub it brings you right back into the cockpit here or you select on eight. So again, just wanted to share how, how important and easy and simple that is for uh, for you to leverage. Again, if you think about, let's, um, if I were to think about the uh, kind of the challenges that I mentioned, right? It does take out the stress and it becomes a very simple and easy process for you to walk through that content. In terms of um, next steps and how to get started and what's in there, you can download this. Uh, there is an AKA redirect. I probably have seen somewhere in the, the neighborhood of about 800 to 850 downloads uh, in the last few months. So partners are using this tool extensively. Uh, every one of the, in fact, let me go ahead and show you the the, the zip file. It is a um, it's a 500 megabyte file. And so here are the demos. You've got one that says with click assistance, that's the bubble. And then there's also the playbook that has without the bubbles. Every single slide is exact to the two. And then if I go back up here, we've recorded every one of those demo scenes. So every one of those scenes, because I think all of us vary in the way we learn and the way we comprehend. And so you could either read those scripts slide by slide in PowerPoint, or you can follow along with the MP4. So this is what brings that file, the zip, to 500 megabytes. It certainly is a large file, uh, but again, just to provide you with kind of both ways in which uh, you might like to, to learn, okay? So you can download that at aka.ms. Oh, it looks like all my uh, pictures dropped off, but aka.ms uh, dynamics 365 financials forward slash sales tools. You can watch the videos, learn the scripts, and I'll even provide everybody on the call with a little bit of a challenge. Take those scripts and, and create your own demos. Right? It is so simple and easy to follow along, whether you use Camtasia, whether you use Skype, or you have some other video producing uh, tool, right? create these assets that I have built for you and put them out on your website. You know, Don't use the, the, the MP4 files that I created because it's my voice and I don't know that it's the most exciting uh, in terms of luring prospects. But as you think about that buying experience, right? people want the demo right away and also think about how those customers are finding you and know more about you before they even pick up the phone and do a discovery. What if you had those 20 some odd videos out on a landing page for you to promote, right? And that's what I meant by creating a buy-in demo, create this one wow demo, but you could also take those other assets and record with your voice or have somebody in the organization who's got a good voice kind of follow along, okay? All right, so with that, I'm going to ask uh, our, our moderators to help maybe just uh, before we get into the cloud marketplace and transition off, uh, we wanted to share uh, some polling questions with you, kind of break it up a little bit. Kind of uh, part one was around the sales cycle, and then part two is going to be the uh, poll questions. 
So if we could see the first poll question. Yep, I have it up now, Craig. So if you guys would look on the left-hand side of your monitor, you should see a uh, survey up there. What is your primary responsibility in the company? So we're just trying to get a feel for uh, you guys out in the audience, what your roles are with, uh, with your company. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, we just want to know who, who are you and, and how do we tailor and personalize some of these events uh, for you and just trying to get a sense of who, who joins our community call. So thank you. All right. Um, thanks, guys, for taking the time to answer that. Looks like we have um, a lot in the marketing and the consulting side. Cool. All right. And we have one more poll question. And this is going to be more around uh, what Asif is going to be discussing with us. So we are just curious if anyone, uh, any of the partners in the uh, audience today, if you already have um, some sort of uh, an app or a service already on AppSource. Give you guys a second to answer that. Excellent. Looks like we do have a couple of uh, partners that have some um, apps or services already on AppSource. So with that, I think that's wonderful. An opportunity for a lot more of you to um, hear what Asif has to say, and he's going to talk about um, putting our the services that you guys as a partner have out on AppSource. With that, Asif, I'll, Asif, I'll turn it over to you. Thanks, Bob. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, thanks for uh, making the time to come to this uh, session and learn, learn more about AppSource and the consulting service offerings. I'm part of the Dynamics uh, product group and be talking to you today about uh, the new capability that we've added recently on AppSource. So share with you about AppSource for those that uh, uh, haven't had the chance to learn about what it is. Talk about the new capability we've added uh, a few months ago, the consulting service offerings on AppSource. Share some examples of success stories of other partners transacting and uh, getting uh, business out of it. <clears throat> and show you some uh, demo of uh, what the publishing uh, experience will look like. So uh, kind of uh, high level, uh, we know that our marketplaces uh, in general are uh, taking um, a lot of uh, uh, interest and getting, gaining momentum in terms of uh, uh, where people go to find solutions, deploy uh, and download apps. Um, uh, essentially, we're saying that, uh, you know, over the next uh, couple of years, 75% uh, of uh, organizations and business users will be looking uh, on marketplaces to find their next uh, solution for their business. Uh, so to that end, Microsoft has uh, created AppSource uh, about three years ago, uh, starting with uh, uh, a destination for ISVs uh, to uh, share their uh, applications, SaaS applications, land of business applications, and have customers go to, to download those apps uh, uh, for their business uh, requirements. Uh, so AppSource is kind of a, a one-stop shop for business users to discover, try, and uh, <clears throat> get those uh, apps, and also uh, a way for system integrators and ISVs to connect with those customers and offer their solutions and apps uh, to those customers. So over the few uh, couple of years since uh, AppSource was launched, uh, there's a lot of momentum in terms of uh, number of applications that uh, are now uh, available on AppSource uh, over uh, two 1,700 apps, um, you know, over 2 million of active users coming into the uh, Azure dot, uh, sorry, AppSource.com uh, on a, every single month. And uh, we're passing on, uh, you know, tens of thousands of uh, leads to those partners that have those apps on, on, a, on AppSource. And potentially, we're looking into, you know, growing the number of uh, users coming in uh, as a result of the uh, office apps moving into AppSource as well. So if you don't know, um, last um, couple of months ago, um, we switched off all of the uh, marketplaces that our office has been using, and everything now is being hosted on, on AppSource. So 
that creates a lot of uh, user uh, momentum as the office community, Office 365, is over 100 million uh, users today. So the call today is to talk about consulting service offerings. And so, as I mentioned, AppSource was initially started as a destination for SaaS apps uh, made by ISVs. And uh, about two or three months ago, we've added the new capability uh, for system integrators to be able to package their IP and put it on AppSource as a consulting service offerings. Uh, this is a very unique uh, capability in the market. Um, there's no uh, other marketplace that does it today. And so we're, we're uh, very excited about this opportunity. Uh, so essentially, um, it's a, a consulting service offerings is, is a predefined engagement. Uh, it's a way for you to showcase your expertise. Uh, and uh, uh, as of today, we have uh, offerings that support uh, Dynamics uh, 365, Power BI, Power Apps, and Microsoft Flow. Uh, it does uh, exist in the U.S. today. Uh, we've added Canada and the U.K. Uh, about a month ago, and we're rolling out to next uh, next to uh, other parts of the world. Uh, so we'll get coverage uh, worldwide in the next uh, four to six months. Uh, there's uh, five categories of uh, consulting service offerings that uh, can get published. Uh, those are tend to be uh, kind of uh, fixed in duration, fixed in scope, and have well-defined well outcomes and deliverables. So it makes uh, uh, someone as a user to be able to quickly uh, gain the, the benefit of what uh, the offering uh, is going to be uh, doing for them. Uh, so we have uh, five categories, uh, things like you know briefings, which is uh, mostly uh, presentations and demos packaged up in a uh, you know, few hours or one day, talk about a specific solution, maybe a, a specific uh, uh, use cases for an industry. Uh, you know, th this is a very good way to uh, introduce uh, your IP and expertise to a customer. Uh, and that uh, can be delivered uh, on-site uh, to a customer. Assessments, you know, you know, you all probably have IP around assessments to be able to gather requirements, do gap analysis of, uh, you know, finding out uh, what, if the solution will fit uh, the customer requirements. And that will be a good way for you to kind of capture uh, customer needs and uh, get it to the next level uh, of, uh, you know, implementation of POC. Uh, so the workshops are intended to um, uh, describe uh, offerings that correlates to things like uh, training or uh, whiteboard sessions, uh, design sessions. So that could be a variety of uh, options that can be packaged up uh, under the uh, workshop category. You know, POCs, proof of concepts, you know, uh, limited uh, deployment of a solution in a test environment, and, and then limit inf implementations. Uh, in this context, it's more, uh, you know, scoped out to a single unit or single uh, business uh, uh, scenario. And so think about it, uh, maybe a, a short-term implementation, I mean, a week long, uh, so it, you can still have a, a well-defined and prepackaged uh, offering around that. So the benefits of uh, promoting your uh, IP on AppSource as a, as a system indicator, uh, there's you know a few things that comes to mind. One is to promote your brand, so you show, associate your brand with a Microsoft uh, bigger uh, uh, name, and so that's kind of help you gain credibility and exposure. Uh, obviously, uh, as we talked about, the number of users we have on AppSource uh, on a day, on a monthly basis, you're going to get uh, in front of those uh, users and gain gain a lot of reach. Uh, be able to accelerate the sales cycle. So I'm going to share some examples of of uh, partners that were able to, you know, in a matter of a uh, week or two weeks, to be able to go from a uh, customer that finds their IP on AppSource to selling a full-blown solution. Um, and then lastly is, uh, you know, getting revenue and, you know, new customer ads to your portfolio uh, during this uh, uh, experience on, 
when having your IP on app stores. So here's a few examples here from uh, our uh, partners that are already transacting on app stores. Uh, so here on the top you have uh, uh, a customer that uh, from uh, uh, the retail business came into uh, there's a business user who actually was a decision maker that went uh, find out about app source we're looking for a CRM solution uh, they're found about uh, an offering for, uh, made by shareware by our partner uh, in Canada uh, this partner specifically has this uh, one week implementation that they're promoting for 2500 bucks um, the customer liked the, the details they clicked on contacted me uh, as a result, the partner received a lead from AppSource about this uh, one click, one uh, week implementation. Uh, they engaged with the customer. They've done the, uh, uh, the the one week implementation offering, and then as a result, they were able to upsell for a full deployment of new uh, Dynamics 365 for customer service. Uh, on the bottom, you see an example uh, of. Uh, uh, a business users that came in for a new CR ERP solution in this at this point and so uh, what you see here uh, the way they got into finding about this offering is they were browsing in the product website on dynamics.com and on dynamics.com we have a page for uh, called uh, partners and uh, this is where we feature uh, solutions and offerings from uh, Microsoft uh, partners and so that particular customer, when browsing on the product Mike website, were able to find that offering on a, um, and uh, engage with the, the partner for a one-week implementation for a new ERP solution. And as a result, you know, two weeks later, uh, there was a, a signed contract for uh, deployment of uh, Dynamics 365 uh, Financial and Operations Business Edition. A uh, couple of more examples here. Uh, what you see here is uh, on the top uh, a business decision maker that was looking for uh, a CRM solution where he actually came uh, uh, as a result of searching on Google for Microsoft CRM and find, found the uh, app source uh, link. Uh, from there, he got into uh, finding about the IP from uh, New Signature. Uh, so they have a Microsoft relationship sales one day briefing. It's a free engagement they, uh, that they're offering uh, on AppSource. These customers requested to get contacted. The customer uh, was participating in this briefing where the partner has, were able to articulate the value of the product, but also uh, their specific expertise in terms of uh, providing uh, uh, industry uh, examples and so as a result of this briefing in a matter of uh, about a week and a half they were able to sign an agreement for uh, a new uh, Dynamics 365 sales uh, including the LinkedIn sales navigator so you know uh, we're talking about uh, you know, significant opportunities that uh, came out of it and then lastly uh, this is an example of um, a customer that was looking to replace an existing legacy ERP system that they've been using for over a decade. Uh, they wanted, they were in the market for a new uh, replacement for that specific uh, legacy ERP system. Uh, they found about this uh, uh, two-day, ass two-hour assessment, uh, a free assessment by our partner, and uh, through uh, this assessment, uh, the partner was able to. Uh, tailor uh, a solution that meet those requirements and upsell the implementation. So overall, uh, what you see here, these are uh, examples of partners receiving leads of net new customers that they've never had before. And in a matter of uh, weeks, they were able to uh, engage, deliver, and sign contracts for uh, bigger engagements. So I'm going to speak briefly about uh, kind of the, the process of how to get started, um, talk about, you know, where you sign up, uh, what are the requirements to or the eligibility to promote your offerings, 
and we'll show you some demos of the publishing tool. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about the uh, requirements or who is eligible to promote offerings on AppSource. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, today we're supporting uh, offerings that uh, support uh, Dynamics uh, 365 CRM, ERP, Enterprise Edition, Business Edition, as well as Power BI and Power Apps. And those requirements are for Dynamics uh, 365 customer engagement. Uh, we're looking for uh, partners that have a minimum of uh, silver competency. Uh, for Dynamics uh, 365 Finance Operations Enterprise Edition, um, uh, minimum bar is to have a silver competency and a minimum of uh, $25,000 uh, in cloud revenue, ERP cloud revenue, over the last uh, 12 months. For business edition, the requirements there is to uh, have a, uh, at least one customer um, that you transacted out either as a CSP or as a digital partner of record. And lastly, for Power BI, Power Apps, the requirements there is for uh, partners that have gained the uh, solution, uh, uh, solution partner uh, uh, competency, which requires to have a solution showcase published on powerbi.com or powerapps.com. So these are the kind of the eligibility requirements for uh, participating in this uh, marketplace. So as I mentioned, you know, part of the benefits of having your offering on, uh, on AppSource is to gain uh, exposure and uh, promote your brand and get in front of a lot of customers. And so there's uh, different ways uh, uh, we in, in Microsoft uh, help you uh, get there. So beyond just having your offering published on AppSource, we do a number of things. First, uh, we get a lot of uh, traffic to AppSource by uh, promoting AppSource on our uh, product websites. So we have product websites for Dynamics.com, uh, Power, Power BI, Power Apps, you know, for all the different apps on Dynamics. So over there, we, we feature the offerings uh, right there when new customers are searching or uh, browsing to learn about the Microsoft product. So we let them know that, hey, you know, there's offerings to help you kind of uh, learn about the products, and here are some of the uh, offerings from our partners, and this is a lot of our users are actually finding those offerings on the product websites. Secondly is we do have, uh, you know, uh, tens of thousands of people signing up for trials uh, on a given month. And so for those uh, customers that sign for trial for, let's say, Dynamics uh, 365 customer engagement trials and things like that, uh, we're able to send them emails about their trial. And in those emails, we also include information about offerings from partners uh, that can help them kind of uh, mature their trial and uh, get more value out of the, from the product. And then lastly is about uh, more of a targeted uh, approach where uh, users that already have uh, access to the product or the service uh, within the context of the uh, service that they use, the app that they use, that we're actually able to uh, provide them with uh, in-app notifications and in those notifications, we include specific information about uh, offerings. Uh, so that is uh, very well targeted because of the uh, telemetry. We know, you know, for example, this is um, a user type that is using a specific product version and, and in what location, so we can funnel the right uh, offerings to that particular user. So all of those kind of uh, helps you get uh, exposure and promoted uh, in front of customers. Uh, beyond just having uh, published on AppSource. Uh, and then we also have integration into the product uh, uh, UX. And so within the homedynamics.com, for example, there's uh, this experience where customers can actually uh, click from right there from the service and get to uh, uh, AppSource to find solutions. And uh, over time, we'll be adding more and more of those integration, uh, tightly integration uh, of offerings into the product uh, UI. Um, uh, so 
We make it very easy for someone to discover those uh, offerings uh, whenever they use the product, the websites, and uh, uh, make sure that uh, you know you get targeted uh, leads. And when I talk about leads, what it means is that after a customer goes in and uh, find uh, the offering on AppSource, when they click on the detailed view, uh, they can learn about the, the offering. And then right there, when they click the contact button, uh, at that point, we grab the customer details uh, as most cu as customers they do uh, authenticate on with ID when they log into AppSource. So we're able to capture their uh, uh, tenant ID and uh, you know, contact information, email addresses, and things like that. And then at, at this point, we pass it on to you as a partner, and uh, that way you can contact this uh, customer after he clicked on the offering. Now, uh, you know, some of you might already have uh, offering that uh, you've been publishing on the uh, OCP catalog, the one commercial partner catalog, or the solution catalog. Many of you might be working with uh, the partner development managers on, you know, building uh, the IP and you know, getting those to the uh, internal facing uh, marketplace uh, called OCP catalog. So again, this is mostly uh, designed to help our field sales organization find about solutions and IP from partners. Uh, it's not. Uh, something that the partner, or uh, sorry, it's not something that the uh, customer would have uh, access to. Uh, so what we're doing is basically we're making uh, uh, integration there where if you do have an app source um, listing, then we will make sure that that uh, will be featured on our CP catalog. Uh, and so that way you can ensure that uh, uh, we're create, creating kind of the linkage between those two marketplaces. One is internal, and AppSource obviously is external facing as well. So how does it work? Uh, let's talk about how to get started. Basically, uh, you go to appsource.com. On the top, uh, you'll find uh, Get Listed. And uh, over there, uh, when you get Submit the, click the button there, you'll be able to uh, uh, fill up a form that tells you uh, more, in, that tells us more information about you as a partner. It will show, uh, you know, your company name, MPN ID, things like that. At that point, we'll review the nomination, and uh, if you do meet the uh, eligibility to publish, uh, you'll get access, or you'll get invited to get access to the publishing tool. Uh, in the publishing tool, you'll be creating pages like this. Uh, essentially, this is how um, the offering will be featured on AppSource. Uh, it shows kind of the, the company logo, the pricing, on the left navigation, some information about um, the competencies you have, you know, all kinds of information that you would like to share, um, it's like marketing content, for example, uh, you know, links to case studies and videos. Uh, and then on the right, there's this is where the actual description of the offerings, is, in, uh, starting with the uh, naming that has the title of the offering, including some uh, high-level information, and then detailed information, including the agenda. Uh, so if it's a multiple-day offering, it will have day one, day two, day three type of uh, uh, agenda and then deliverables. <clears throat> so when a customer goes in and they quickly understand uh, what this offering is all about, what will be delivered, and uh, what are the outcomes they can expect. And so the whole goal is to get a, a customer you clicking the contact me as, as soon as possible. Uh, here's another one, uh, one week uh, pre OC. So you can see here uh, in this example, for example, uh, the Deliverables are right there on the top, so someone reading that can say, okay, this is some of the outcomes and deliverables that I'm be getting, and here's a high-level agenda of the of the one-week uh, proof of concept. Say, Asif, I'm still seeing the um, PowerPoint. I don't know if you switched over to your desktop. No, I didn't. Uh, this okay. is the PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, 
During the uh, configuration or the creation of the offering, uh, you do have the choice of uh, pricing, uh, choosing the pricing type. Uh, this is to talk about uh, kind of the um, learning that we've gained from uh, existing offerings and the number of uh, clicks. And uh, what we've seen here is that uh, most customers, they tend to go with either free or fixed fee. Uh, yeah, what you can see here is, um, on the left is the, uh, although 19% 90, of the offerings that partner have submitted have an estimated pricing, uh, only 6% of those uh, that uh, actually acquired or, you know, customers actually clicked the contacted me uh, had uh, estimated pricing. So um, this tells you that uh, ideally you want to either choose a fixed fee or a free and as much as possible, try to avoid having an estimate, estimated pricing. So, as I mentioned, after you go to appsource.com and get listed, and when you submit the form, if you are on the eligibility list, then you'll get invited to uh, sign up uh, for this uh, publishing tool. Uh, it's called the Cloud Partner Portal. Uh, so you log in with your email address and password. Uh, at that point, you will get access to be able to create a new offering. So you click the new offer and you choose consulting service offering. Uh, and from there, it's essentially um, a publishing tool. So it's, it's uh, asking you to fill up uh, uh, information about the offering uh, naming, the ID, um, and uh, you click here to give the description that I talked about earlier. So, you know, high-level description, detailed description, including the agenda and the uh, deliverables. Um, and uh, we have some guidance in terms of, you know, bullet, bullet, uh, bullet points and, you know, what, what makes a good offering there. So we have links uh, so you can look at other offerings to for for reference. Um, so here you put in the uh, partner ID, and uh, um, if you have a partner center ID, you put it there as well. Uh, and then uh, this is where you basically configure things like uh, pricing. So you select uh, if it's uh, free or paid, uh, if it's a fixed fee or estimated fee. Uh, this is a place for uh, doing that. I think our presentation got uh, uh, yep. got stuck. So let me, uh, I took over and I'm going to zip through real quick and get us back on track. I apologize. Yep. Is it coming on? Yep. So now I'm on define... Offer details. Yep. Slide okay. 42. So, do, you, do I need to go a little bit farther forward, no. or no, 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 that's okay. it. Yeah. Again, this is where uh, you select the pricing type uh, and the duration. And uh, next one is to point out which uh, industry this offering is uh, related to. So you can choose multiple uh, industries. Uh, so it gives the, the customer more information about which of the industries this is uh, related to. And then here's more of the um, place you can publish the marketing collaterals related to that offerings and your company. Uh, so things like the logo, um, links to brochure, case studies, videos, anything that you would like to supplement uh, for the customers to get more information about you as a partner and about this uh, specific offering. Uh, so here is where, uh, as I mentioned, uh, when we generate the leads, so basically when a customer clicks on the contact at me, we capture that information. And at that point, we'll pass on the lead details to your CRM or the place you track your your opportunities. Uh, so at that point uh, in here in the publishing tool, you can configure how do you want to 
receive those leads. And we support uh, all kinds of uh, uh, lead management systems. So obviously Dynamics, uh, CRM, uh, Salesforce, CRM, um, but then also you can set up an Azure table, uh, any HTTP endpoint, uh, Marketo. So uh, at that point, uh, when you configure that, there will be a test uh, submission just to make sure that it works, and then moving forward, when leads, new leads will get generated, it will you'll receive them uh, in that particular system that you chose. So here's you just put your contact information for how to contact you, and then you click the button to publish. At this point, it will kick off uh, a review cycle, which this gives you kind of the timelines and you know where you are in the process. Uh, so every single offer that get uh, published, we as a Microsoft team review that. We're looking into kind of the uh, context context of the offering, make sure that it's uh, uh, aligns with our uh, style guidelines. It has you know all the information is there in, in the right uh, format. We we might be doing some editing at this point. We'll send you some info, email about. Uh, some potential information that is uh, needed from you and um, changes we are looking to do. Um, and so you'll know, you know, this might be getting some editing from the Microsoft team behind the scenes. Um, and so uh, this is where uh, you'll know that uh, this is happening in the background. Uh, and so after we've done the editing, you will get an email notification saying, you know, the offering is ready for preview, so you can now preview the offering and how it would look like uh, after all the edits that were made. And, uh, you know, if you feel that uh, you're happy with the overall um, offering and the way uh, the editing was uh, created, uh, you go in and publish uh, by clicking the go live button. So you're the last person to make sure that the, the, uh, this uh, offering goes on online. So that's kind of the uh, submission experience is what you can expect. Uh, we have a team here that uh, can help you along the way. Uh, and then, you know, as a summary, uh, just showing you here that uh, we do have uh, quite a uh, good momentum since we've launched uh, back in November. Uh, we have a steady growth of uh, the user traffic coming into AppSource to find uh, solutions uh, specifically around consulting service offerings, so we are very encouraged. Uh, and then this is going to continue to grow as we uh, improve our uh, demand gen uh, activities that we're doing, and you know, more and more users will come in and find those uh, and uh, find those solutions. And as a result. As traffic goes up as well, this is also where the leads goes up. And so on the bottom here, the blue bars, you can see this is kind of the daily uh, lead generation. So, you know, we're passing more and more leads uh, every day to the partners. Uh, so we're very encouraged by the uh, momentum that we're seeing so far. So in summary, you know, get listed. Uh, as I mentioned, go to AppSource.com, submit the form. Um, you know, fill up and create your offerings, get the leads, and engage with the customers to promote your solutions. And so um, I hope that uh, this was beneficial, and uh, thanks again for this opportunity to present to you today, and look forward to see your uh, nominations. Awesome. Awesome, Asif. That was wonderful. Thanks so much for for giving us some guidance. I mean, think about the years, how, how far we've come in terms of being able to promote our, our, our stuff, our, our consulting services, and, uh, you know, how simple that is. And you've got a defined method, all, method I should say, on how me as a partner can get our, my stuff promoted. So thanks for sharing the insights. As you all know, we with the community assets I shared with you at the beginning of the call, the recording of this, uh, I think in the next 24 or 48 hours, uh, we will post it to the Yammer site, and we also put it on our uh, YouTube channel for, for business applications. So 
I want to thank you all for, for participating. And again, as I mentioned, spread the word. We would love to provide a much more enrichment, enriching and engaging experience. Uh, we're taking a hard look at the editorial content and calendar so that when you come and invest an hour of, our t of your time with us, we're providing some value that can help make a difference. So this month we thought it would be helpful around the Partner Sales Playbook. Uh, if, if you're looking for resources on how to streamline some presentations, again, download that. And then obviously around promoting your apps on App Source. So with that, I want to thank you all. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next month.